Around 7.30 on Thursday night, shots rang out in an area that has been considered dormant with respect to gang activity. An alley off Wagner's Lane in the heart of downtown Belize City was the scene of the latest homicide in the old capital since the start of July. As the echoes of what residents say were some 12 blasts subsided into the night, 25-year-old Akeem Tiran Vargas laid mortally wounded at the entrance to the alleyway. He died on the spot in the arms of his loved one. I lean over and I say, please talk to me. Say something to me. Please say something. Please, Tyrone. Tyrone, say something. When I notice, I say, blood, the gush for your head. So I say, please say something to me. Please say something. And he say, mm. that was it. He died right there. Right after he said, mm, he died. According to police, the construction worker was walking in Wagner's lane when he was approached by a gunman who opened fire on him. Two bullets made their mark on the neck and behind the ear. Lorna Sanchez, his mother-in-law, says she spoke with him just minutes before he was targeted. I got off the bus by Medica. I walked through Ferrari across Albert Street into Simon's Alley. I stopped at the last house coming in and I bought some cigarettes. My son came in. When he came in, I said, what you do, boy? You did tear gate me? How you come right behind me like that? You must hungry. And he said, no, I come by too. I said, okay then. He bought him in the buy, and we walk out of the yard together, right? Walking out of the yard together, I noticed he going in the direction for Abbey Street, and I had to call for home. So I said, where you going? He said, um, I going by Miss Jane. I said, okay, if you had a brother today, tell him to come home. As I get out of the alley, I say, Akeem, they come from Berkeley Street side, but more to the house, because he's closer to the alley than me. So I, I walk up to the alley, and I said to her, I say, why? Where you doing, What are you doing for today? Like, that's why I said to her. He said, oh, he said, I got to re-register holes. We start to hear gunshots. So I had an ear drawn, because I know he walked through the alley when I walk out. He walk out, you know? So I, I didn't zip up my pants, I just hold up my pants. I have pain in my foot, I didn't walk out limp. And I, I run, and I'm the first one by body. By several accounts, Vargas refused to get caught up with any gang. While police say that an investigation continues into the motive for the killing, Sanchez says he was killed by someone he knew, and that it is a case of, if you're not there with me, you're there against me. They're saying that he was affiliated. He wasn't affiliated. He might have, when he came here before knowing us, he might have came to be affiliated, but then he pulled out of it. Affiliated with a gang? With them wrong here, yeah, Jump Street. Mm -hmm. But he pulled out of it, and from then, the hate start. When it comes to gang, they want to control, right? I said, jump, you jump, and he wasn't that. And because he's turned from that type of silliness, they start hating him. So killed by his own people from around here? That brought him from Griga. How long has he been living this area? Right here? Mm -hmm. Almost three years. Living with us. If you're not dead me, then you're not a problem to me. That's a how that's a how the gangs they they idolize themselves, you know, they me, you know, you're against me. But that being with you no know, means I'm against you. Not that being with you means I no business about you. I business about me. Dwayne Moody for News 5.